Hello and welcome back, roguelike fans. Uh, I've been away for quite a while, um, trying to recuperate from various injuries that are attributed mainly just to the idea that I'm apparently becoming old, despite my wishes not to. Um, and I am not fully healed, but I am doing much better than I was, enough that I was able to hop on and do about 30 minutes of coding today, and I thought, well, if I'm, if I'm able to do some brief coding, I'm probably able to to play a roguelike as well. So uh, I decided to fire up Equin the Lantern, which we'll be taking a look at today. This is, of course, the very first of our side quest videos, wherein we are deviating from our central tenet of only playing free English-speaking roguelikes. Uh, this is an English-speaking roguelike, but it is uh, it's not free. It's available for uh, uh, very inexpensively on Steam. Um, full disclosure, I was contacted by the designer uh, who offered to give me a free copy, uh, Mr. David Fillion, um, if I would look at it for this channel, and I said yes because uh, I like free stuff, and um, and I like roguelikes. So and it looked it looked pretty interesting. So I thought I'd give it a try. I have uh, briefly played it once, um, but I'm nonetheless going to go through the uh, the tutorial, etc. Again, just to uh, to show you what I've uh, seen and learned, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, also want to point out something super nice, given the status of my arms, um, I realized he had, he had mentioned this to me in an email, and I had kind of overlooked it, but, uh, I'm seeing it now, and that's gamepad detected. I plugged in my Xbox 360 controller, and it works with an Xbox 360 controller natively. Now, granted, with programs like joy to key which you can download for free if you Google that, joy to key you can hook up a, an Xbox 360 controller to work with pretty much any game, but this one works natively, which I think is great. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use right now, and it should allow me to play it a little more easily, even than I, I just used a keyboard a moment ago to play. So we're going to see if this uh, this makes it a little easier on my arms. Let's press A to begin. Holy Christ, that's loud. I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> At least it was loud to me. Let's turn it down here. Just right there. And I'm going to turn it down in my ears as well, because that nearly killed me. I think this is the right... I don't know if I'm hitting the volume control on this soon enough. This game's continued success depends on me. Like it, review it. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Mr. Fillion? Uh, I gotta... Sorry, put the uh, window... I'm playing half in the window and half in my OBS studio here. Okay, there we go. Let me just find the right dial so I can turn this down. I have an, uh, a callback tomorrow for an, uh, an audition. I don't want to blow my voice out doing this. Okay. That's a little better for my ears. Let's put it down lower for you guys because I'm seeing this thing pulsing pretty high. That's too low. Where'd the volume go? What the hell? The volume seems to have disappeared entirely. Is that okay? That seems to be okay. I hope that's okay. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Let's press A. Move and select with the gamepad analog stick. Open the menu. Back is B button. Action or choose is A button. Wait a turn is X button. Game speed, plus or minus. I guess that's the animations, because it seems to be turn-based. Let's hit A. Daily bonus, thief special. Thieves start with two yellow potions. Isn't that great? I think this is awesome. That's something that never occurred to me with a, a roguelike before. I don't think I've ever encountered it before. Is the idea that uh, there is a daily, uh, daily rule change, it looks like. A bonus to one character class is what I'm seeing. According to this, this is my first one I've seen. But, uh... I think that's a pretty interesting thing. If we come back tomorrow and thieves don't start with two yellow potions, but something else starts with something, it's a, it's a great way to encourage your players to mix up the uh, the class they select. Now, we are going to look at the tutorial. Um, a, to refresh my memory on how this all works, especially with a gamepad. And B, uh, to walk you through it, give you a sense of what it is, and also to show you what the word tutorial implies here, because it's not really a tutorial per se, at least not in the traditional sense of a game. It is more, as you can see here, a... Um, well, a walkthrough. It's like a rule book that pops up. Um, just send the dungeon's 50 floors to reach the lantern at the bottom. The lantern shines through five different color phases. Each phase affects the game in secret ways. Awesome idea. Come back to that later. Exit ladders. You need to locate the floor's exit ladder. Climb down it to reach the next floor. Got it. The lantern will sometimes cause events that alter these floors in big ways. <laughs> Lol. Your adventuring job. There are four starting and one locked class to choose from. Got it. Experience points or XP are earned from killing enemies or disarming trapped chests. Earn XP to level your class. Learn skills and grow more powerful. Health potions... Oh, pardon me. Health points or HP. When they reach zero, you're dead for sure. And once you die, your game is completely over and character erased. You're probably going to die a whole lot in this game. That's an awesome thing to include up front as well. I, I was watching the... Um, 
I was listening to Roguelike Radio the other day, and they did a, a follow-up on uh, Kawa's presentation at the Roguelike Celebration, talking about the morgue experience of players, and how some newer players, who aren't expecting to die in a roguelike, because they're used to games where death is not that common, and it's easily circumvented, uh, they get very frustrated when they die a lot. So having this at, at the outset in the tutorial telling you, A, if you die, you're dead for good, B, it's going to happen a lot, I think is a great way to start. That way at least people aren't uh, taken aback or taken by surprise. Stamina, or STM, is your energy. Low stamina makes you tired and unable to do stuff or fight very well. Okay, i got to bear that in mind. I didn't remember what that meant last time. I wouldn't mind some more details on what exactly that means. But as a general rule, got it. Many types of food or potions restore hit points and stamina. Save some for emergencies. It's a fact of life. You'll eventually get hungry. Eat food to prevent starving to death. Fight monsters in turn-based battles to earn XP, gold pieces, and chests. Champs have flashing blue outlines. They're pretty hard. They're a pretty good source for treasure. Bosses have flashing red outlines that are very hard to beat. They can sometimes drop rare items. Extoli points. I don't know what that word means. Maybe it's unique to this universe? Maybe it references the religion in this game, the gods. Extoli points, or XTP, are earned by killing bosses and carry over from game to game. You can earn, you can use Extoli points to gain special rewards and bonuses at the start of a brand new game. That's kind of neat, having a carryover effect. Keep hitting enemies. Sorry, I'm popping my peas here a bit. Keep hitting enemies without missing to earn a hit streak or HST. Do it to gain an experience bonus. Some classes learn spells. They cost lots of stamina but are strong and never miss. If things get dicey during battle and there's empty space nearby, you can always try to run away. If you are stronger than the monster, you'll automatically kill them instead of triggering a fight. That's what auto-kill is. Um, minor point here. Like, it says auto-kill there. It, it titled this rule, auto-kill. But it doesn't tell you that the auto-kill is a skill you have to unlock. And I learned that in my last game. You don't automatically kill monsters you're stronger than unless you have the auto-kill skill. Which appears to unlock at second level or something, but still. There are 417 different items in this game. Get loot from shops, barrels, chests, or stealing. Scrapping unwanted items gives you instant gold pieces to buy stuff you'll want later. Strive for weapons, armor, shields, runes, and other gear to wear for survival. Some gear may in fact be cursed. These can't be removed through normal means. Uncursed equipped gear can be removed at any time. Just press up while in your backpack. You'll need to be under the effects of Bless before you can remove a cursed item from your body. These come in different varieties and contain gold pieces or items. Uh, oh, that's it. here we go again. Um, it, it feels like it's a carryover sentence. It's not. It's talking about chests now, not blessings. Um, just a bit unclear. These come in different... Chests come in different varieties. Why not just put chests instead of these? Come in different varieties and contain gold pieces or items. Often they are trapped and will flash red. Okay, try and bear that in mind. There are like a million traps in this game. They can injure, poison, or even burn your wooden gear away. Buildings are places to buy items, rest, or gain special magical buffs. Exiting a building will close this door forever, so think carefully before going in. That's kind of a neat idea. You can buy up to three items here. Shops. Shops will never sell you something your class can't use. High-level thieves can steal from shops, but get caught, and you're blacklisted. Not sure what blacklisted means, given you can't uh, re-enter a shop anyway. My wife is pointing at me and miming eating something? Are you, are you wanting me to stop what I'm doing to eat? What do you mean you're not my wife? You're gonna use a microwave. Okay. Okay. Don't let it cut out. Go ahead and use a microwave. We'll see what happens. <laughs> High level thieves can steal from shops. Okay, got it. Uh, High level wives can mime with macaroni and they'll explain what they're trying to say. Drinking beer, recover stamina. Renting a room, recover stamina, hit points, and hunger. That's in guilds. Uh, if your observational skills stink, you can always bribe this guy for helpful tips. Run by cultists. I've seen them. Uh, they will offer items in exchange for your max hit points. That's kind of neat. So instead of buying with gold from them, you buy with maximum hit points. That's kind of a neat idea. Extoli statues can bestow great powers when touched with a teeny chance of making you miserable. Dragon King statues can provide assistance to cultists, but are quite useless to everybody else. Got it. Okay, that's why I think it wasn't working before. Campfires. These restore hit points, stamina, and hunger, and can be used an unlimited amount of times. Holy shit! They're swearing in this game. Drink from wells to recover full stamina and cure plague. Some rare types of wells may do other things too. You can dump any potion on a floor fire to put it out. Maybe there are other uses as well, presumably. Sipping or drinking, dumping a potion will leave an empty bottle. You can save it to fill out a cauldron later. Oh, that's what the cauldrons are for. Okay. Doors can be closed to trap monsters on the other side. You can always wait to pass time 
for regaining stamina or luring enemies. Webs can trap you or monsters for several turns. Fighting while suck, stuck results in an ambush. I've experienced an ambush. I think it means they get to hit first. Gold pieces and gems can be dug out of a wall with a pickaxe. Got it. Equip a fishing pole and you can try to catch some fish in ponds. Anti-magic begins. Deactivate it to allow spells to be cast once again. Touch a warp orb to teleport to a random spot. That's it. Kind of nice touch as well. Incidentally, uh, the buttons it's telling me to press are different from when I was using a keyboard. It knows which, which uh, input you're using. You can't use both at once, though. You can't mix keyboard and joystick, for instance. Let's start a new game. Years ago, before you were born, a lantern appeared. One early morn, nobody saw it coming. Nobody knew what it did, and off to its dungeon went one brave kid. Who looks like a rabbit. All of my cats are coming in the room for some reason. They heard me say rabbit. And down he goes. Okay. Which character are we going to be? I played a, uh, I played a thief. What is it? Thief, warrior, wizard, or cleric? I'm going to do a warrior. I mean, the thief I, I play because it's the daily special. You get two yellow potions, but I didn't use them anyway. Let's try a warrior because that's the base class in any game I've found in, in general. And it might be useful to get a better sense of, uh, you know, the base game. Fighters who can who excel, pardon me, with any weapon or armor. Weak to magic. Interesting. I, I believe Mr. Fillion is Canadian, if I've, uh, if I'm remembering my conversations with him correctly. I might not be. In which case, he spelled armor the American way. Odd. Weak to magic. It only gets worse over time. Alright, uh, this is kind of neat, too. You get to choose three items on this list. To start with, I've never quite seen that in a game before. We're going to start with a club, for sure, a weapon. Uh, later on, when you're uh, up against these kinds of things, like when you're dealing with inventory items, there is a way to see info on them. Here you can't, which is kind of weird. You know what, let's do the... Oh, what does this do? Like, I don't know what it does. I don't know what a door kit means. No, I'm going to stick with a basic warrior, man. Okay. I can also pick a bonus. Um, these bonuses are common to all the characters, apparently, because the thief had the same options. Because his magic defense is so bad, let's start with this. Go to the dungeon! Into the void. Alright. That was a bit of a long setup, guys. I'm sorry, but we're in the dungeon now. Let's uh, play for about 18 minutes, and we'll stop, and uh, I'll probably play some more tomorrow. But probably only this much today. Keypad works. Open. We got a rotten egg. Now if we go to what? I want to press Y instinctively. What is it? It was tab on the keyboard. Here it is, B. If we go to our gear, we can go to this and uh I thought we could see info, can't we? If I press A. Oh, if I press A it tells me. Usually it's the culprit when everyone <laughs> Hit points minus ten, stamina plus fifteen. Got it. Some of the stuff you scrap only gives you zero Whoa, I don't want to do that. That's this is also a bit confusing. Don't press quit to get out of the menu. That gets you out of the game. Press B to get out of the menu. Or tab if, that's a, if you're using a keyboard. Let's try and push my chair back a bit too. I have limited space in this room, so... It's kind of hard to find a seating position that's comfortable with this gamepad in my lap. When you fight, it goes to this kind of interesting thing. He, he got a first strike as he ambushed me. Um, oh, I didn't equip my shit, damn it. Um, let me do that now. So you press B, go to gear. You have to remember to equip your stuff right off the bat. Uh, equip. Alright. That was, uh, fool. Foolhardy. What is this thing in front of me? Some of the stuff appears to be decorative, and some of it's, uh, not. I also find that sometimes confusing in, in any game. Uh, so if we drink here, we'll get our stamina back. We don't need that right now. You can eat these. I don't know why you'd want to. Let's check when our health is lower. I don't see these. Are, I think are decorative. I don't think you can interact with that. Obviously, you can the latter. Can we eat flowers because we're a rabbit? Or I mean, some people do eat flowers. I know that there are edible flowers. Apparently, women who are pregnant sometimes get picos to eat flowers, which is pretty weird. You can see that ye that lantern up there? Oh, well, there you go. It just changed. Not only is it. Uh, visibly blue, but another nice touch I want to point out, it does 
say blue in the top left corner in case uh I assume that's for colorblind players, which is a, a good touch. People are being much more aware of that when they're designing their games these days. I'm not colorblind, but but I'm glad that anybody who is would be able to play this game with a bit more ease. I mentioned the fact that these, uh, well, we saw in the tutorial together. Let's eat this and see what happens. Oh, I got three maximum flower. Just add flower. I wonder if that's always, or three maximum hit points, rather. Is that always the case? Very refreshing. Well, I, was, I was trying to eat the flower and not use the well. But the flower's gone too? Might be a bug. Not sure. Let's climb down. I can take a bet. Yeah, it's a neat idea having these, um... These, this lantern that periodically changes color and has effects on the game. I think that's a brilliant... Conceptually, it's a brilliant idea. It's atmospheric. And if it varies gameplay, that's an awesome thing. Snake. I imagine that can poison me. Let's go kill it anyway. Snake appears. I missed it, son of a bitch. Maybe the first time I ever missed in combat. But, um... I'll be honest, I'm saying conceptually, because I don't... Like, I have no idea what it means, if it's green or blue. Like it, and if I don't know what it's doing, does it matter that it's doing anything? Like if I have no clue, and I can't react... This is only for cultists, right? Yeah. If I can't, re you know, use that information to my benefit in any way... I don't know if it really matters that it's changing color. And it seems to be a central piece of the game, so I, I wouldn't mind clarification on that. I wonder if, you know, when it's green, is it always the same effect? And if so, what is that What is that effect? Um, if, it, if it's permanently one effect, just my own taste, man. I would prefer to know what that effect is, like to spell it out for the player, for me. Um, if it's not permanently in effect, I'd still like to know what the hell it's doing. If anything, maybe it's doing nothing. Maybe it's only, like, if it happens to turn a certain color wire on a certain level, an event occurs? I don't know. I guess we're going down. I think that was about it. I also don't know if there's a mini-map. I don't really... can't keep track of what I'm looking at. I'll also say this. I mean, I can clearly see what the hit points of stamina are. You can see them on floor two, but I don't know what these three bars are. I don't know which one's which. If... Is one of them experienced, maybe? Mm -hmm. Indoor rain? That's alright. Oh, we got a pickaxe. We can presumably mine out walls now. Do we want to touch this? Let's touch it. So we can resist lightning. I guess that's good. The world is purple. A lot of barrels. Alright, let's keep an eye on our hit points. Does this automatically put us to 34? No. Has some sort of random effect, maybe. Got some gold. I don't know how much gold I have. Pack 2 seems to indicate that's what, uh... I have two items, yeah. That's how much items you have in your pick in your backpack. Might be you can only carry, uh... 3, 6, 7, 21 items. Rotten egg, yay. I'm be forced to eat that if I get uh, too hungry. I'm not very good at dodging. I, I don't know what that means. I also don't know what this means. Swing and crush? Bash or flee? I see. So when you go to one of these options, it gives you two different options. You can go up or down on the pad to choose what you want to do. Unfortunately, I... Oh, I see. Actually, it's minus one, minus three. Is that how much stamina it costs to do? Or is that my chance to hit? No, it can't be the chance to hit, because there's stamina. There's a, I think that's a stamina cost, is my guess. Why do I want to tackle? I don't know what that... Again, I wouldn't mind more information on what these things do. Is my stamina really low? Is that what the middle bar was, maybe? Is that why I'm missing so much? He hit me for one. And I killed him. Oh, he did call for help. Let's look at our backpack. Fuck. Oh, here's some special notes about me. Currently equipped with gear that can it will be destroyed when fire comes in contact with it. Okay, probably the wooden shield. 
When it's raining, all fire damage is halved. Okay, this is information I, that's useful. All fire damage is halved. Interesting enough, lightning damage is doubled. Okay. Lightning resistance is something I have right now. Take half damage from all electrical attacks, and lightning bolts will have no effect on you. Okay. My odds of landing a critical hit, which deals double damage to foes, is plus 1%. Shield block. You'll have this chance to negate physical damage through your shield skills when attacked. Okay. Magic prone. You'll continue to lose M def as you grow. Oh, that sucks. Butterfingers. You seem to break items more often and take more damage from trap chests. What a gip. That's uh, useful information. I didn't know that was there. Fuck. Uh, I guess we're going to try and get around these guys, man. Fuck. Okay. Killed that one pretty easy. That blue bar is getting... The central bar is getting higher. Is that my... Is that my... I don't know what the hell's going on. Is that my experience? Ambush. So he's going to attack first. Got that. He hit me for one. But that middle bar disappeared now. And it just reappeared. And now it's... Now it's less than it was. And my top bar is less than it was, too. But my stamina is listed as higher. I don't know what those bars are, man. I don't know how to find out. I'm level 3. I didn't realize I got up levels. Next 25, I'm guessing, means I need 25 experience to go up a level? Is my guess? I don't know. Okay. Alright. Yes, let's eat. Mmm, I looked out. I think my hit points went up there, my max health. Or my health at all. Gold. I like gold. Let's eat random mushrooms. Of course we would. Poison. Okay, fair enough. Poison eventually runs out. Let's look at uh, what the green potion does. Recover your stamina to the fullest. I don't think I need that right now. Hmm. Delicious of mushrooms. Again, I don't know if this is decorative or like would standing here do double damage if you fight here, would you do double damage with lightning bolts and shit? I don't know. Grapes, that's a food item we can eat. Okay, the world is red. Again, whatever that means. I know there's more rats up there, I wouldn't mind going to face them. Easier now. I might have gotten up some levels without realizing it and therefore become more adept. Grapes. Just for the record, they, uh, what do they do? Hit points plus two. That's alright. Unfortunately, not seedless. There's some nice little flavor text. Oh, fuck it. Bacon. So here's one of those stores we can go in. So it looks like a cultist shop, I think we, is, it means we'd have to trade max hit points for stuff. We'll do that right before we leave the level. So that guy's a champion, like, right? Like, something like that? He's a... He's a special dude. I forget what you call him. Oh, fuck. Might be chasing me now. So that means it's trapped, that... That one potion? Or that one uh, chest, rather? Is my stamina down? Like, what's what's my fullest? I guess I can look at self, can't I? 26 out of 26. That is its fullest. I'm gonna eat some grapes to get my health back. What does that do? A wear rat? Oh, shit. This guy looks tough. It's calling for help. Uh-oh. That probably means when we're out of here, we we'll surrounded to be either were-rats or rats. Oh, I think we're gonna kill him, though. 
One more hit. Um, unfortunately, it's literally whoever hits next is the winner. And it's not going to be us. Oh, okay, maybe it is. Okay, we got him. We leveled up. Hey, we got an achievement. It is a Steam game, of course, therefore there are achievements, which is kind of cool. Camp Champ. Alright, um... Let's open this. We got gold. Four gold. I'm, uh... Am I still poisoned as well? Like, on top of... No, my hit points are very high. That's good. I guess when you level up, you gain more stuff? Is the fact that I'm green mean I'm poisoned, or is that just a function of leveling up? Oh, there was that, uh... Sort of special again. Disease. You're under the effects of the plague. Until you can cure it, you'll suffer a pen death penalty. That's probably what the green means. We also have this now. Instantly destroy any weaker enemy you run into for the cost of one stamina. The rest of this is all stuff we already knew. Alright, fuck it. I'm opening this. Probably poisoned again. Based on the toxin thing. Got a lot of gold out of it, though. Jesus. Okay, that wore off. Is this... Any chance this can cure me of being diseased? Well, let's head in here, see what he has. I'm hitting A to enter, but it's not letting me in. No, I don't want to wait. Apparently X is wait. Well, I'd like to go in here, guys, but I can't. Maybe it's because I'm diseased. Maybe you can't go in you're diseased. Like, because I have the plague, he's like, fuck you, you can't come in. It's guesswork. I don't know, man. Let's find the stairs, I guess. Blue. If there is a, um... If there's, like, an actual written manual that accompanies this game as well, in addition to the tutorial, and I haven't read it, I apologize, I, I'm not sure how to access a manual, uh, via Steam. Like, it's not a... Not like you just open a folder and go to the docs folder, you know? Um... Could use some healing stuff. And some get-rid-of-disease stuff. Rotten apple. That doesn't sound like it would help with the disease. We could probably fight him with relative impunity now. Yeah, I guess so. I'm guessing those little numbers going up, the little yellow numbers, are, are gold you found. I'm reasonably certain that's the case. Green potion, what does that do? Stamina. I'd like to recover health. <laughs> so you got three gold out of that, in addition to the experience. See, again, awesome feature, the changing of the lantern. You can see the sides of the screen as well, the colors change. As I said, it's atmospheric, but... But I personally have yet to notice any discernible effect. We'll try and go in there again in a minute. Let's gather as much gold as we can in case, uh... In case such things matter. This could be trapped. Let's open this other one that's not trapped. A soldier sword. Attack three. Let's equip it and then let's take a look at this. Attack two. Okay, so it's better. Also won't burn. I didn't notice my graphic changed. I'm not sure if it uh, affects that. Some trap that did five damage. I don't know what the trap was, but it took five damage. Oh, you can just walk her through doors. You don't have to press A. You can close doors again too. I've noticed that uh, option available. Maybe they block certain monsters? I don't know. Apparently I was maximum stamina. See, I can go in here. I just couldn't go in the other one. 
So I think this will heal my hit points for 10. That's all we're going to do there for. I thought it healed hit points. Maybe it only goes stamina, damn it. Maybe there was an info... If there was an info spot there and I didn't notice it, that's my own fault. That was a waste of money then. You can't go back in either once you've left. That was like a werewolf or something, man. I'm staying away from it. I don't want to get ambushed by being in that web. Oh well, we gotta fight this guy then. Oh, he's less than me. Well, that was plenty easy. I also may have leveled up. We're at about the 30 minute mark here. Let's finish this level and then we'll save it. Is that just a standard... Like, is that a normal well? It doesn't look like a normal well. What does it do? I don't know. Am I still diseased, by the way? No, my disease wore off? My immune system kicked in, I guess? He's a blue guy. Fight him anyway. Bloody slime. Oh, it's interesting. The uh, crush uh, option is gone. So it's weapon dependent, apparently. I can only slash with this. I'm guessing that crush would have maybe been less likely to hit and would have done more damage, but again, without it, I don't have any info to back that up. That's just guesswork. It's just the designer of me hypothesizing. Dead. Got a banana. Hasn't told me I'm hungry yet. Rotten chicken. I would not eat that. I was just asking for salmonella. And worse. It's a cultist statue, that lizard thing. I.e. I'd be a cultist to use it. Let's go in. What does this do? Is it permanent? If I buy this, do I have it forever? I took defense buffs. Let's find out if it's in my log now or special. Okay. Maybe this is it? Poison attacks, traps, and grass have no effect on you. I haven't... Uh, I'll tell you this as well. Um, like, these passive bonuses are awesome. Um, and I'm guessing that I've accumulated them by leveling up, but a little more ceremony with level up than just saying the word level might gain my attention because I wasn't even aware I was leveling. You know, it's just like all of a sudden I realize I have these extra powers, my stats are higher. Um... I would like to celebrate the the you know accumulation of each of these. I'd like to know that they're there, but unless I come back and check periodically, I'm not even aware. I don't know where these things came from. Unless unless I did something, like unless I touched a statue and it gave me this or something. I don't even freaking know. Oh yeah, I can see all those uh, resistances left of screen. But is that because I took the defense bonus? Is that what that is? I don't know. And is it temporary? Like, when I leave the level, it'll be gone? Did I spend 300 for no reason? Or is it a full-time permanent thing? Let's drink from this. Gained magic defense. So it's a little less... A little less negative, presumably. Alright, man, I think that's it. Explodes in 450. The level? What does? That looks like it's a monster. I ain't afraid of you. I'm asleep though, I should be afraid of you. Apparently it can put you to sleep. I 
I forgot we were going to leave right after this level, but, uh... The last level, rather. But, um... We better find a fucking way off of this level. So we can... I remember, I remember saying, oh, that's what cauldrons do, but I don't remember what that was. I don't know what you do with those. Watermelon. I'm guessing the yellow chests have more money in them? It's like a golden chest or something? Oh, I still got a lot of time. Mind you, I'm not sure Oh, let's eat something. Clearly I should be eating a banana. Zero gold. Wasn't sure. We already got everything. It's a very generous timer if, uh, if it's a small level. Alright. I'll tell you what, guys, we're gonna call it there. It's 36 minutes. I'll be back a little later uh, with some more. I might even just keep playing, to be honest. The, the uh, controller's not bad. Gotta watch my voice, that's about it. Okay, stop recording. I'm gonna start recording again right away.